Here's our tale to take for this, our lightweight contender tournament final. And Tajani Bestani, four inches taller than the Bulgarian and holds a half inch reach advantage. Looking at the professional experience, both guys are super young and have such great records. You got Bestati with 16 fights to only nine of Koprovlenski. Fatigue factor obviously important in this fight. Both these men fought earlier tonight. Koprovlenski's fight much shorter and it ended much more violently. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time for the finals of our four-man lightweight contender tournament with the Ramon Deckers trophy up for grabs and along with it, a future shot at the glory belt. This bout sanctioned by the International Sport Kickboxing Association and at the bell, your referee is John Axwood. From Rotterdam to Roanoke, the world's kickboxing fans are watching around the world. It's time for glory! Introducing first, fighting out of the black corner. He now improves his record to eight wins with one loss and four career knockouts. He stands five feet 11 inches tall, 1.80 meters, and he weighed in at 153 pounds, 69.4 kilos. Fighting tonight out of Bulgaria, here is Stoyan the Sniper, Koprevlenski. His opponent fighting out of the wide corner improves his career record to 15 wins with one loss and five career knockouts. At six feet, three inches tall, 1.90 meters, he too weighed in at 153 pounds, 69.4 kilos. He's back tonight, fighting out of Morocco. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, the wonder boy, Tejani Bastani. The referee in charge of this bout, Big John Axwood. Okay, guys, you know the rules. Break is break, stop is stop. Questions? Question. They don't touch gloves, but I feel like there's some mutual respect there because both of these respective fighters felt that the other guy would make it to the final. And here we are, and here we go. Koprovinsky in the black gloves, Bestati wearing white. And we saw earlier Bestati likes to start fast. Koprovinsky started with those kicks. You're gonna see Bestati probably come with his boxing. Got to believe Bestati saw what Karplovinsky did in his first fight and will keep the gloves high. The kicking of Stoyan has been very impressive because he just throws both sides, low kicks. The level changes what makes his kicking very dangerous. Add some good speed and power to it. Whoa, a left counter punch there from Bestati. Really step Koprovinsky back. Yeah, that's going to keep Stoyan's kicking game at bay. As Stoyan kicks, you're going to see Bestati come forward with his hands. You saw Bestati's hands there by his, his sides. Got to watch out for that, a high kick to Johnny. Good overhand right for Bestati. Yeah, good come, counter. Oh, a spinning back fist right on the forehead. Bestani's down. Three, four, Where did that come five, from? Six, seven, eight. Koplovinsky having the greatest night of his career, at least to this point. And that just angered Bestani, who's throwing rights and lefts now. The fight it out right in the middle of the ring. Yeah, now he's hurting Stoyan, but Stoyan came back with a left hook. Duck that high kick. High drama here in the Netherlands. We've seen this exact same thing happen to Bestadi at Glory 41. He got hit with a spinning back fist, but then came back and ended up getting knockdowns of his own. A lightning quick spinning back fist from Koplovinski. And there's one for Bestadi, who falls off balance. Straight right hand. The Bulgarian is having an amazing 
amazing fight here so far. Yeah, and he's against... mixing levels with his punches as well. And there's another one that hits the jaw. 30 seconds to go. Nice left uppercut from Kopravlinski. Keep in mind, Bestati went the full three rounds earlier tonight. Koplovinsky didn't even go one. Ten seconds to go. What a round for Stoyan Koplovinsky, Joe. Yeah, it looked very good. He's mixing in a lot of kicking, kicking, and then he mixed in that spinning back fist out of nowhere that did a lot of good damage. Yeah, and it was Bestati who started really quickly. We saw him land some good left hooks, some good right hooks trying to angle out versus Koprovlenski's pressure, but there's that spinning back fist. Beautifully timed as Bestati was walking right into it. You see him setting him up. Bang, perfectly placed right on the temple. Then he did it again, Joe, later. That one not quite as effective. Yeah, still landed really flush. This time he needs to keep that right hand super tight. Got to keep his hands up, but Joe, offensively, what does Bistotti need to do to get back in this fight? Well, when he was pressuring, he was doing well. He needs to stick that jab in, in Stoyan's face every time he tries to kick. He's got to shut down that kicking power. And he's doing well when he's putting his punches in combinations. Round two, scheduled for three. Koplarinski surely with a 10-8 round there. We'll see the official scores momentarily, and there it is. Bestati really looking for that left hook. So Bestati needs either a knockdown or has to win rounds two and three to force an extra round. You've got to love the confidence of Koplovinsky. He's just owning, owning the ring right now. Yeah, he's just being very strong in his footwork and his stance. Oh, Bestati's coming back, though. When Bestati throws in volume, that's when he's doing well. He's got to get that energy to, to put some work together. He did have that tough fight earlier tonight against Nicholas Larson. He went nine minutes, the full nine. Kroplovinsky went two minutes and 47 seconds. Great. Step back. Total strikes. Bestati's actually landed more, but obviously the Bulgarian with the more effective shots. Yep, the scoring is based on damage, so you got to look at what's doing the most damage. Big Mike yelling at Koprovlinski to follow up if you miss. You have Bestati really looking to counter. He's got to counter those kicks with some punches. Koprovlinski told us that he respects Bestati, thinks he's good, but said, quote, I do everything better than he does. Low kick from Kroplovinsky. A nice bounce back round here for Bestati so far. Yeah, he had that time to recover. But he's still relying on the single power shot, which I feel when he puts his combinations together is when he's doing the most damage. Kroplovinsky, a big star in Bulgaria, appears on new shows. He's in all the magazines, sports magazines. They love fighting in Bulgaria. There's a lot of hype behind Kropovinsky, who just eats an uppercut from Bestati. Yeah, that uppercut, some of his, what has been one of his best weapons in the first round. Haven't seen it much in the second. Danny Debris in the corner of Tajani Bestati. There's no doubt Bestati is the best young pupil they have there in Coliseum. Yeah, very young, very talented. And he gets to Johnny gets to spar with some of the best in the world on a daily basis. A better round two, but did you think he won it? Well, it's still a close round back and forth. 
Copa Valencia's kicks seem to be scoring really well, so I'm curious to see how the judges have that round. I heard Big Mike just moments ago, I don't know if you picked it up, but he basically said to Karpovinsky, you need to do more. He's outworking you. Yeah, he's landing more of the power shots, but he's right. Both guys need to put some work in here. As Tati has landed 50 total strikes compared to 34 for the sniper. There are the judges' scores. Best Tati gets three of the five judges to vote for him. So that sets up a dramatic round three here. It's a must win for Best Tati. So what's the game plan here for Bistati? Well, Bistati just has to find the energy to put things together. He can't just keep moving, relying on the single shot to put Kopravlensky out. There's another spinning back fist. It's been the go-to move. Bistati does have a good scissor left knee. Maybe he's gonna need something more spectacular um, offense to be able to put Stoyan out. As Tati has gotten up off the canvas to win a glory fight before, he's trying to do it again here in the finals of our lightweight contender tournament. As Tati going for that uppercut again. Telegraphed it a little bit this time. We're calling that a slip. There's that scissor left knee as Tati's known for. Bistotti now with his mouth open, breathing. There's another back fist. But our referee, John Axwood, says that's the forearm, which is not legal. No, you have to hit with the glove, which is hard because you're spinning your head and you're turning your head. So a lot of times the fighter's coming in and you hit elbows or forearm. Big Mike asking for a little bit more from Koprovinsky. Step back. If he wins this round, he wins the fight. The winner of this fight gets the, the Ramon Deckers trophy, and it's actually here at the Ahoy that Ramon Deckers had his last official retirement fight, so a lot of good energy here. Obviously, Ramon Deckers gone too soon. A kickboxing Muay Thai legend. And the tournament is, or the trophy for the winning of this tournament is named after him. It'd be a great honor to win it here, where he had his retirement fight. 16 years ago. 20 seconds left. Not too much drama here in round three so far. No one's really landed a big, big shot. 10 seconds left. Fatigue definitely kicked in. Two fights in one night. Very few can do it. Another back fist. Did Bestani win round three? If not, he won't win the fight. They both climbed the ropes to celebrate. We'll see what the judges have to say. Well, I can give the advantage here to Stoyan Kopovlinski, just the busier doing the most damage and landing those beautiful spinning back fists. If you look at the numbers, it was Bestani who landed about 20 more strikes, but none of them with the ferociousness of those spinning back fists. The official decision from Rotterdam when we return to glory kickboxing. We welcome you back to the Ahoy Arena in Rotterdam, the Netherlands. And it was three rounds. It went the full distance, but it didn't look like it would after round one And that shot. Yeah, that was the knockdown from the spinning back fist we saw from Koprivlinski. Perfectly timed, well placed. Bestati was able to get up and start doing some work of his own. He, he was the busier fighter, kept coming forward. There he landed a few good uppercuts, one of the best weapons he had in this fight. 
and both guys just kept coming forward. Both of the corners were asking for a lot more action, and they both brought it in that third round. Did Koplovinsky get the job done, or will we go to an extra round? Here are the strike statistics. You can see that Bestati landed 21 more strikes and threw 27 more. Where Koprilinski really relied on those kicks. Strikes landed by zone. You got to see it was Bestati really focusing on the head punches, where Stoyan was using the body kick as one of his main weapons. All right, it's time for the announcement, and we go into the ring and Tim Hughes. Ladies and gentlemen, after three more tournament rounds, we go to the judges' scorecard. Here are the totals from our five ringside judges. Three judges score the bout 29-27. The remaining two have it 30-26, a unanimous decision, all for your winner. And now, glory contender tournament champion, Stoyan Koprivlinski! Here to present the Ramon Deckers Trophy, our Managing Director of Sport, Mr. Cor Hemmers, joined by our Chief Executive Officer, Mr. John Franklin. Here's Cor Hemmers, the trainer for Ramon Deckers, and the, tr the trophy obviously named for Ramon. He fought here 16 years ago in his final fight, so a big moment for Stoyan Kopovinsky for a number of reasons. Congratulations, that was a fun fight to watch. You took down the tournament favorite. Describe your emotions for me. I'm very happy, but I'm not surprised of this. I dream very hard for this fight, so it's something normal for me. You landed a few solid spinning back fists. Was that all a part of your game plan? Uh, it's not part of the game plan, but uh, I do a lot of knockdowns with this big fist, so it's my favor. Well, congratulations again. Rotterdam, give it up for your tournament winner. So the sniper is now nine and one. And he proves to two and one in glory after losing his debut. He felt that that was a fluke, and maybe he's right.